Hello friends, this video on three dimensional geometry part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. Now let's discuss an important topic called where you define the plane that is passing through the intersection of two planes. So let's suppose that we have two planes r dot n1 is equal to d1 and r dot n2 two planes I have. So the common intersection is let's suppose this point and with this we have some plane. Right? I'm not able to draw this. Let's draw this. So there's a plane that is sorry. Something like this. Yeah. This is the plane that is if you see is common to these two planes, right? This so there's a point, let's suppose T, and that T will be in both the plane. So T dot N1 is equal to D should satisfy, and T dot N2 is equal to D2. Both should satisfy. That means I can say that T dot N1 plus lambda into T dot N2 is equal to D1 plus lambda N2. What I'm doing is multiplying this guy with lambda, so adding this. That means this should also satisfy, or I can say that t dot n1 plus lambda n2, right, is equal to d1 plus lambda d2. So this is my equation of plane. So again, instead of T, I'll use the R, R dot N1 plus lambda N2 is equal to D1 plus lambda D2. This is the equation of my plane that is passing through intersection of these two planes. Correct? So let's have the same thing in the Cartesian form also. So same equation which I had, R dot n1 plus lambda n2 is equal to d1 plus lambda d2 right so instead of r i'll say xi plus yz plus zk which i generally use dot for the n1 i can say that uh, let's assume that uh, the slope of this perpendicular was a1, a1 i plus b1 y cap plus c1 k cap plus lambda n2 for n2 let it be a2 i b2 j cap plus c2 k cap right this thing is equal to d1 plus lambda d2 or what I get is a1 plus lambda a2 into x plus b1 plus b2 lambda into y plus c1 plus lambda c2 into z is equal to d1 plus lambda this is my equation i get for the plane that passes through the intersection of two planes this guy is uh, r dot n1 is equal to d1 this guy is r dot n2 is equal to d2. let's see some examples for this so the question says i have uh, to find the equation of the plane that passes through the intersection of two planes this guy and this guy at point this. because when I say that I have a uh, equation of plane passing through only two point two plane the intersection of two planes if you see is nothing but a line right so with, from this line they can be n number of planes passing through so we, you can't give a unique unique uh, plane which passes through the intersection of two planes. So 
for that you have to give one more point in which it passes through so that you can uniquely identify the plane equation correct so what we can do is here i have my this is p1 this is p2 and i have this point vector a so equation of the plane equation of plane passing through p1 and p2 is nothing but you add this and this with the lambda that's all that is 3x minus y plus 2z minus 4 plus lambda into x plus y plus z minus 2 is equal this is a general equation of the plane that passes through both of these now now it passes through 2 to 1 and with that I can uniquely identify the value of lambda correct so let me put the value of x is 2 y is 2 and z is 1 that is 3 into 2 minus y is 2 plus z is 1 minus 4 plus lambda into x is 2 y is 2 z is 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 correct so what I get here is 6 minus 2 is 4 2 into cancel 6 minus 4 is 2 plus lambda into 2 what is x plus y plus z minus 2 3 is equal to 0 so I get lambda is minus 2 by 3 therefore my equation of plane is equation of plane is nothing but this plus that is 3x minus y plus z 2z minus 4 plus lambda that is minus 2 by 3 x plus y plus z minus 2 is equal to 0 if you solve this what you get is 7x minus 5y plus 4z minus 8 is equal to 0 and that is my answer so this is the equation of plane so very simple if you have two equations just add them with a lambda then you are given a point you put that value in the point in the, in the equation you find the lambda you replace the lambda with the derived one and you get the final equation correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.